So Mel, uh, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? Uh, I'm good. Good, good. So you ready to answer answer some questions about just your life right now? How, how things are going? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's get going. Um, so, first of all, Melvin, uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us, uh, like, what's your name, your full name, how old are you, what school do you go to, what are your interests and hobbies, what are you doing right now? Uh, hi, my name is Melvin Sujit Sandhu Kumar. I am going to be nine soon on the 18th of June. Mm-hmm. My birthday is coming up. Mm, my interest is Greek mythology. My hobbies are gaming and drawing. Like, so has there anything during this time of COVID-19 that you really want to, that you would like to stay the same? Or is it all you just like want everything to go back to normal? What do you think about that? The things that I want to stay the same is school. Not like the social distancing, but school, you don't, I can just wake up at any time you want and go to meetings anytime I want and do my work anytime I want. So yeah, school is the only thing I just want to stay. <laughs> Both of the things I want to go to be known. I like that. I like that. Well, um, has there any has there been any ways that your faith has been changed during this time, or any ways that it's been challenging for you to have faith? Mm, it's been challenging sometimes because I'm gonna have to celebrate my birthday in lockdown. Mm, but I pray to God every time I go to sleep and go to stores and go anywhere. So I guess faith is still with me, but some of my faith is just lost. Yeah, it's not always easy. It's like, you know, because you're, we're not at church and so it's a little bit harder to connect to our faith, but but you're absolutely right. When we pray, anytime we pray, God is with us and as we at home, better if we're at home or anywhere else, God is, God is right there with us. So, um, so what things do you do to connect to your faith during this time? You, you mentioned praying. Is there anything else? Do you get to watch the uh, worship services? Do you uh, just pray at dinner? What, do you, what kind of stuff do you do? I watch the services from my native land, India. I go to the church in India, and I also watch the Woodlake services. So um, the other crazy thing that's been going on these last couple of weeks was the the killing of George Floyd, and how has that affected you in your life? What are the, what are you guys? What do you think? Uh, I think they just should definitely stop the protest and stop like robbing the stores and setting them on fire because a lot has has changed during the protest right now. Some people are have stopped, but some people are still going. So, is there anything that you hope going forward that will kind of change as we, you know, from, you know, whether it be stuff from COVID-19 or stuff from the uh, the George Floyd and the protests that are going on? Is there anything that you hope will change going forward? Mm, I hope that the social distancing will change maybe and I hope that the protest will end. That's basically what I wanted to mention. Great, great, great. Now, is there any, do you have like a favorite Bible verse or a Bible story that is helpful to you that, you know, that you think sometimes that helps you get through tough times? Uh, can I say it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so there was a man who was hurt on the street and well, and a man and someone was walking and saw the man but didn't hear and just walked. The second man saw the man but did the exact same thing as the first man. The third man saw the man, said he was okay, brought him to the hospital, stayed with him for a times and, and cared for him while he was hurt. 
Well, Melvin, you are awesome. Thank you so much for doing faith stories with us and uh, for sharing sharing about what you're going through right now. So you're great. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you.